compliance with the World Health Organization guidelines, the air quality in the Philippines is considered moderately unsafe. It develops risk to human and environment as time goes by. So, what is air pollution? Air pollution is the contamination of the indoor or outdoor environment by any chemical, physical, or biological agent that modifies the natural characteristic of the atmosphere. Household combustion devices, motor vehicles, industrial facilities, and the forest fires are common sources of air pollution. Pollutants of major public health concern include particulate matter, carbon monoxide, ozone, nitrogen. Due to polluted air that the country has, the Philippine government passed the Republic Act 8749 or the Philippine Clean Air Act last June 23, 1999. It provides for comprehensive air pollution control policy as it outlines the government's measure to reduce air pollution including environmental protection activities into its development plans. It has adopted the polluters pay principle and other market-based instruments to promote self-regulation among the population. And emission standards are set for all motor vehicles and had issues pollutants limitation among industries. The Department of Environment and Natural Resources, through its Environmental Management Bureau, is leading the strict implementation of the Clean Air Act. Its silent features formulate a holistic national program of air pollution that shall be implemented by the government through proper delegation and effective coordination of function and activities. Courage, cooperation, and self-regulation among citizens and industries through the application of incentives, market-based instruments, cause primarily on pollution prevention rather on control and provide for comprehensive management program on air pollution. Promote public information and education to encourage the participation of an informed and active public in air quality, planning, and monitoring. And formulate and enforce a system of accountability for short and long-term adverse environmental impact of a project, program, or activity. This shall include setting up of a funding or guarantee mechanism for clean up and environmental rehabilitation and compensation for personal damages. Implementation of the law, it mandates the various government agencies to do the following in support of the act. Department of Environment and National Resources, or DENR, acts as overall of the lead agency, prepare a national air quality status report which shall be used as a basis in formulating the integrated air quality improvement framework. Transportation and Communication or DOTC in coordination with the DENR in case of industrial discharges and the DOTC in case of motor vehicles shall based on environmental techniques design imposed and collect regular emission fees from all said discharges as part of the emission permitting system or vehicle registration renewal system as the case may be implement the emission standards for motor vehicles. Science and Technology or DOST with the DENR, all organizations shall establish a national research development program in control of air pollution. Department of Trade and Industry or DTI, DOSD local government units, LGUs, together with the DENR, shall develop an action plan for the control and management of air pollution from motor vehicles. With the integrated air quality management framework, DOTC, DTI, and DENR shall establish the procedures for the inspection of motor vehicles and the testing of the emissions for the purpose of determining the concentration and or rate of the emission of pollutants discharged by the set sources. Market of Energy or DOE co-chaired with the DENR in consultation with the Bureau of Product Standards of DTI 
Atmospheric Geophysical and Astronomical Service Administration or PAGASA shall regularly monitor meteorological factors affecting environmental conditions including ozone depletion and greenhouse gases. Philippine Nuclear Research Institute or PNRI with the DENR shall regulate all projects which will involve the use of atomic and nuclear energy and will entail release of radioactive substances into the environment incident to the establishment or possession of nuclear energy facilities and radioactive materials, handling, transport, production, storage, and use of radioactive materials. Department of Education, DepEd, Commission on Higher Education, CHED, Department of Interior and Local Governments, DILG, the Philippine Information Agency or PIA, shall encourage participation of government agencies and the private sector including NGOs, POs, academe, environmental groups, and other private entities in a multi-sectoral campaign. Problem. Air pollution has long been seen as a problem in the Philippines. The most polluted areas both came from the central Luzon, which are the Mekawayan and Bulacan. According to Philippine General Health Risk, air pollution, the contributors to poor air quality in the Philippines include the apparel and timber industry, petroleum refining, vehicle emissions, and waste burning. With these contributors, many problems occurred related to health and environment. Due to the air containing toxic chemicals and other harmful particles, it has great impacts on human health and to the ecosystem. In human population in 2018, a study by the World Health Organization reported that there were 45.3 air pollution related deaths for every 100,000 people in the Philippines. This was the third highest in the world after China's 81.5 pollution related deaths and Mongolia's 48.8 deaths per 100,000 people. It was caused by the toxic air that the people inhaling. It can cause respiratory and heart problems as the lungs, nose, and throat are most affected. That is why it is very risky on cardiovascular diseases. Also, air pollution contributes to child health problems, especially the babies who are prone with respiratory infections and pulmonary diseases. Therefore, air pollution can result to the decreasing number of population. Polluted air does not affect only the humans. It also had bad impacts with the environment or ecosystem, such as global warming, the continuous of getting higher of temperature on the Earth's atmosphere, and because of that, many of organisms are losing habitat. Acid rain, the gases like sulfur oxide and nitrogen oxides are released by burning of fossil fuel, then it spreads in the atmosphere when it rains. The water droplets are combined in the contaminated atmosphere and turn into an acid tree. Eutrophication. The nitrogen present is high in some pollutants that develop on the sea surface that turns into algae. The effects on wildlife, losing of habitat, and same as humans, their health are affected too. The depletion of ozone layer, the high presence of chlorofluorocarbons and hydrochlorofluorocarbons that makes the atmosphere becomes thin due to the polluted air in the atmosphere. With the problems mentioned, the Philippine government implemented the Clean Air Act to prevent high risk of air pollution from different contributors where they should follow, like giving of clearances and permits to industrial companies, strictly observing activities which are related to air, set emission standards to stationary sources and vehicle emissions, and giving fines and penalties to those who will caught violating the law. This happened through the help of the different agencies mentioned earlier in the Philippines. Summary Republic Act 8749 provides for a comprehensive air pollution control policy to reduce air pollution by including environmental protection activities into its development plans. It has adopted penalties for those who will be caught disobeying the law. This is the one who is responsible for monitoring, maintaining, and preventing the air pollution in the country. Recommendations Government must strictly implement the RA 8749, especially nowadays that the air that we breathe is unsafe. People of the country must obey the law and prevent air pollution. 
We should take the issues in air pollution seriously for a better future.